This video will highlight the features of the navigation menus on Osman Maps and Navigation. These menus were expanded in version 3.3 to offer more ways to create a route and more detailed analysis of the route you create. My emphasis here is on hiking, but much of this applies to other forms of transport. Here's what you see when you press the arrow button when no route is being followed. At the top of the screen are icons indicating your mode of transport. Next are your starting point and destination. The starting point assumes your current position, but you can specify a remote starting point in a variety of ways. That's true for specifying the destination as well. You can also specify one or more intermediate waypoints. You can resort these later if you need to. Further down are shortcuts that can speed things up. You can store your home and work locations. There's the route you most recently mapped out. GPX tracks currently displayed on the map. Your collection of map markers and previous locations you've specified, which can be used as destinations. Back near the top, this toggles the audio directions. This uses elevation data to select a route with a more gradual slope. For the bicycling mode, you can specify a preference for smaller byways, for a shorter route, or for a combination of both. These and other navigation settings are found here. There are other ways to specify a route, but however you do it, another set of menus gives you information about it. For example, this hike in Yosemite National Park is about four and a half kilometers. The estimated time, however, is probably wildly optimistic because it doesn't take elevation into account. The chart shows the elevation profile in blue, and the slope, which is a measure of steepness, in green. I prefer the next screen in, which gives a detailed analysis of the proposed route. These two charts make use of tags in OpenStreetMap. The road type can be anything from a major highway to a narrow footpath. The surface can be anything from asphalt and concrete to cobblestone, dirt, gravel, and grass. Steepness gives a color-coded analysis of the slope. In this case, it shows that the route is quite steep for a kilometer, with a few stretches of downhill. The chart for smoothness also depends on an OpenStreetMap tag, but one that doesn't seem to be used much. At the bottom are directions. Back toward the top, this menu is one of my favorites. It correlates altitude and steepness with the route on the map. And finally at the very top are three useful icons. You can print the directions, or in this case, convert them to a PDF, share them using email or another app, and convert the route to a GPX, which can then be found in the My Places menu.